In a highly anticipated 90-minute debate in Philadelphia, Democratic candidate Kamala Harris and Republican rival Donald Trump clashed fiercely, showcasing their contrasting styles and strategies ahead of the November presidential election. The debate, marked by personal attacks and sharp exchanges on key issues like abortion, immigration, and foreign policy, left both camps claiming victories but painted a clear picture of the battle lines for the weeks ahead. The debate kicked off with an unexpected moment of civility. As the two candidates met for the first time, Harris offered a handshake, and Trump responded politely, Nice to see you. Have fun. But the goodwill was short-lived. Harris, known for her prosecutorial background, quickly set the tone by engaging directly with her opponent, often smiling or shaking her head at his responses. Trump, on the other hand, appeared mostly defensive, his expressions revealing frustration as Harris went on the offensive. Vice President Harris wasted no time attacking Trump over his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic and his multiple legal battles. Trump, in turn, attempted to pivot to economic and immigration issues, criticizing the Biden-Harris administration's policies as disastrous and labeling Harris a Marxist. The former president also mocked the crowd sizes at her rallies, to which Harris responded by highlighting Trump's diminished popularity, people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. At one point, Trump tried to regain control with a sharp retort, I'm talking now. Does that sound familiar? Referencing Harris's similar line from a 2020 vice presidential debate. The debate took a bizarre turn when Trump repeated a false claim circulated by his running mate, J.D. Vance, about Haitian migrants in Ohio supposedly stealing and eating pets. Despite the lack of credible evidence, Trump insisted, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. Harris dismissed the claim as extreme, while debate moderators intervened to clarify the falsehoods, further putting Trump on the back foot. Abortion emerged as a key battleground, with Harris aggressively challenging Trump's stance on the issue. She argued that Trump's policies and support for Supreme Court justices had endangered women's rights nationwide. Trump countered that he did not support a national abortion ban and emphasized his stance for exceptions in cases of rape, incest, or when the mother's life is at risk. However, his attempts to clarify his position were met with a fact-check from the moderators, leaving him visibly flustered. This exchange, which came early in the debate, was seen as a decisive moment for Harris, particularly among voters in swing states. Throughout the debate, Trump struggled to articulate a clear policy agenda, frequently reverting to his past achievements and attacking Harris's perceived lack of experience. She has no policy, he stated, accusing her of copying his ideas and threatening to send her a MAGA hat. Harris, however, maintained her composure, repeatedly presenting her plans on the economy and healthcare, while dismissing Trump's attacks as baseless. When asked to detail his plans for replacing Obamacare or addressing key economic concerns, Trump vaguely promised something better, but provided no specifics. While both candidates used the debate to energize their respective bases, it was clear that the exchanges offered more heat than light. Harris successfully kept the focus on Trump's record, pushing him into a defensive posture on issues ranging from his handling of the pandemic to his affinity for authoritarian leaders. Trump, meanwhile, struggled to redirect the conversation toward Harris's vulnerabilities or to provide new insights into his own policy proposals. With just weeks left until the election and early voting starting in some states, the debate's impact remains uncertain. Harris's team, buoyed by a positive response from supporters and a surge in prediction markets, has challenged Trump to a second debate in October. Trump, however, appeared noncommittal, stating, Why should I do another debate? as he left the spin room, a rare move for a candidate who usually leaves post debate commentary to surrogates. As the campaign continues, both candidates will need to build on the momentum from this fiery encounter, with Harris seeking to capitalize on her commanding performance and Trump aiming to rebound and reframe the narrative in his favor.